These are factor by grouping problems, and this is how you are going to finish these problems. So first, if you don't see anything in front of your second parenthesis, you need to add in a 1. Our final answer, we are multiplying two things together to get back to where we started. So, what are your coefficients from problem 1? We have 6z minus 1 being multiplied to z minus 4, and that's our final answer. Problem 2, my coefficients, x minus 1 being multiplied to x plus 13. Okay, problem 3, we have, once again, all of these are going to be two things being multiplied. So we have y squared plus 5 being multiplied to y minus 4. That's our final answer. Problem 4. 12z minus 5z squared multiplied to z minus 1. Problem 5. 3x plus 6 being multiplied to x minus 5. 3xy minus 2x being multiplied to 5x plus 2y. Problems 1 and 2 down here at the bottom, we need to start out by grouping. What can you factor out of x cubed and x? You can factor out 1x. You have 1, you need 3, so you need 2 more minus 1. Plus, what can you factor out of 5x squared and 5? You can take out a 5, and you're left with x squared minus 1. And now we need to put these back together using the distributor property. I have my coefficients being multiplied, and that's my final answer for now. Okay, so once again, I'm going to group. So I can pull out a y. I'd be left with y plus 3 in the terms yx and 3x, I can factor out an x, and I'd be left with y plus 3. Now we just have to put these together. We have y and positive x in front, and then we have y plus 3. Same thing, I know these are grouping problems, I have polynomials. So first thing, group. What can you factor out of 2b cubed and 3b squared? You can take out 2b's or b squared. You'd be left with 2b plus 3. Negative 8 and negative 12, you're going to factor out a negative 4. And you'd be left with positive 2b plus 3. You factor out the negative. Negative 8 divided by negative 4 is positive 2. Negative 12 divided by negative 4 is positive 3. And now I can write this as b squared minus 4, 2b plus 3. Last problem here, group it again. So x cubed plus x squared, you can factor out x squared. You'd be left with x plus 1. Negative 6x and negative 6, you're going to factor out the negative 6. When you pull that out here, you're just left with x. When you take it out of here, you don't have anything, so you have a positive 1 left. Negative 6 times x, negative 6x. Negative 6 times positive 1, um, negative 6. So we're good. Now put it back together and we have x squared minus 6 times x plus 1.